You know what? You know why we're good friends? I know. We have we have an unspoken bond. Yes, we do. Yeah. Keep your fucking mouth shut. <laughs> 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 oh man. And that shit is good. Good as a motherfucker, huh? I mean, it's good. I don't even say good as a motherfucker, no. uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the misogynistic AF podcast. Like Rockham, Scooby. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the misogynistic AF podcast. And if you don't know, AF stands for. As fuck. I am your host, Fly Guy Lewis, alongside my co host, Foolish. I was gonna ask you how you doing, but I got a rent right now. Mm. Uh, you know, my day don't mean much. You know, I'm just so ordinary black guy. Guess what up? Man? Yeah, fuck your day. Ask. Okay, yeah. anywho, I'm tired of you bump ass niggas, you dick riding motherfucking rappers, niggas, whole knee rappers, dicks, acting like y'all doorkeepers, being they fucking fans and shit. I'm so tired of motherfucking rapper dying and y'all motherfuckers coming out talking about some. Oh, y'all want to fan of him a week ago, nigga? We don't give a damn. They don't give a damn neither. Nigga, we don't care about how you feel about the shit. Motherfuckers like him now, so shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what happened? This shit's just so annoying. I see this shit all the time. When they three song outside of these other 45 million songs that everybody know. Motherfuckers, shut the fuck up. Just because you started listening to this nigga a year ago and I started listening to this nigga last week. Don't, ma- don't mean a fucking thing. <sighs> this shit annoying as fuck. Who did you get into it with? Oh, nobody. Nobody. I just see it so much. Like, yeah, I've been scrolling down social media and you see that bullshit. If, you, if you're if you a real Tupac fan, oh. name a song outside of oh. Hit Em Up, <laughs> Changes. What? Shut the fuck up. Hey, Changes is my shit, though. Yeah, yeah, I love Changes. But you know what? I don't California see no Changes. California love. Like, yeah, California love my shit, too. Yeah, but yeah it's just, you know, like, King Von just died. Rest in peace to King Von. I ain't never listened to his music. Nah, I, I didn't listen to his music to um, the day he died, actually. I even tried it out after, you know, when he's all, you know, I, 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 ain't, I, ain't, I ain't really feel it. No, I like it. I, I like two of his songs. Well, but it's like, the day, the, the day he died, I, they, they said he died. I was listening to his song. Cause I was like, who is this? I keep talking about, I keep seeing motherfuckers talking about from, Talking about some um, oh, we in for sixty third. I was like, oh, okay. Let me figure out who the fuck this guy is. And he got a song. He got a, he got like two songs that I like. But I listen to them motherfucking song. Then I started scrolling on social media. And then I seen motherfuckers talking about some R.P. to King Von. Like, damn. Same with Pop Smoke. As soon as I started trying to, I didn't really care for him neither. Not nah. really. What's call it? Oh, I did. Uh, uh, uh XXX. Uh, yeah. Like, I started listening to him, like, around the same time he died, and I was like, damn, I don't know, damn, damn, because cause Quentin kept, like, you know, playing the shit, yeah. he, played, he played some shit, and I was like, oh, that, that this nigga fucking you know, going off, so I started He had some him. shit, he, he had some shit, he I was think, on his way. I didn't give him the chance at first, because, like, I was, you know, really big in, in the Drake, and it seemed like he was trying to goddamn get big off of, you know what I'm saying? Coming out Drake. Yeah, so I was like, uh, I ain't really finna get the time yeah. or whatever, but. You do know the real story that, um, Drake. <laughs> Uh, took his beat, well, his flow to a song and made that. Uh, what the, it's a song. What's what was it? I don't know if it was Hot Live Bling or something else. I don't know. It was a song that was real popular. He's already big anyway. Yeah, I'm saying, but he he basically took that same cadence flow and all of that. He was big before that beat. anyway. No, I'm but. saying. But I'm saying he got his. He basically stopped that dude from making his hit oh, come up. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. But shit, it, no, he had, he had a big fan base. Yeah, but, I'm but saying, it was more the younger kids who got there yeah. were struggling with fucking. He, and I, and he I still blew that, up in spite of that though. I saw. I saw how he got down. You know, he was really helping kids. Yeah, he was real. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, damn. That dude and, I, and I fuck with him because of that. And I, I started listening to his music. But it was, you know, by the time I listened to his music, he, he was already gone. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't really appreciate it you know. Yeah. But if you're a real fan, name three songs. See how see how annoying that shit sounds? That shit sounds annoying as fuck. Yeah. Like, motherfucker. I don't look, know what you had to prove to anybody. Exactly. Like, my, my thing is, these rappers do not give a damn if you was a fan last week mm-hmm. or if you was a fan today. Mm-hmm. All they give a fuck about is you a fan now is you buying their music. Mm-hmm. Other than that, they don't give a fuck. 
It's hard, it's harder for them to make it these days because you know everybody just motherfucking download. It is streaming. Streaming is the new streaming. thing, man. Man, speaking of streaming, you saw you saw what they did to old Sway Lee, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, but the song, the song on new play, that shit was hot. Yeah. I like, man, please, please drop the whole song, please. Let me tell you, Sway Lee can sing. Like, Sway Lee can make fire songs, too. I don't know what the fuck, why he would keep all of that and not pay attention to it with his life, you know? That's your livelihood. You got to guard that shit with your life. Oh, shit, I think I got the job. Oh, shit, I think I got the job. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, oh. okay. Okay. Okay, for background verification. Ooh, yeah. Let's take a shot to that. Damn, <laughs> nigga, I'm already in there and I'm <laughs> just used to look a bit of that. <laughs> I ain't no bitch, nigga. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Okay, okay. You, okay, you got it all. I'm glad you got it all, got it all. All right. Hey, Let's man. toast to more money. Uh, more money, more problems. Say it easy this time, not next time. <laughs> you know, the alcohol, you know what I'm saying? You graciously brought. I love you. I love you too, man. You it. said that men do say we love you to each other. Oh, I don't, I don't, you know, I ain't got no shame with that shit, you know. Exactly. Hey, man, if I, if I love you, I love you. I hug this nigga in public. That's right. Yeah. Not right now though, COVID, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't wait till this COVID bullshit pass. You gonna take that vaccine? Are you? You first. Uh uh-uh, uh, no. Man, you take it. I'll take it. Nah, 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 let me tell you. I ain't not buy your steak dinner. Nah, nah, nah. I don't give a deal. <laughs> let me tell you something. It's a it's a lot of people that's taking it now. I see motherfucker pass out of taking that shit. Yeah, I think they said I'm not sure. They said that motherfucker might have died. Mm. It, look, all I'm saying is, I need to know what's gonna happen to the motherfuckers who took the vaccine first, and then if they find, if they find in three weeks, if month. they find in a month, we good. I might take it. Maybe. No, Maybe. I won't. If my, job, a- if my job don't require it, I ain't gonna take yeah, it. Yeah, like yeah, my job don't require it. I'm damn sure not taking it. But all I know. Well, hold on, let me. Re- my new job, my new job. You know what I'm saying? If my new job don't require it, you know, I ain't taking. It. But hey, if that new job required, I'm taking that motherfucker. That's a lot of money. You know, there's this thing going around called mansplaining. Have you ever heard of that? I didn't. I've never heard of it. I just know I do it constantly, and didn't know it was actually a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. Watch this. I love the mansplaining. I'm enjoying it. You're loving what? The mansplaining that's going on. What's what? Well, just talking me through how how what well you, what by you, not answering the question what by you, what you, what you, what repeating you, processes which are not related to the question that I've asked. What's mansplaining, Senator? Well, it's the slightly patronising and condescending way that you're responding to my questions. Well, I would suggest, Senator, that if you're putting the word man in front of uh, some description of what I'm doing, you are doing that which I'm sure you're very much against, is making a, a sexist implication about how I'm conducting my role well, as man. Then... All I got to say is, if a man came out and said a woman won woman's plain and shit, Oh, he'd be called a sexist misogynist. Immediately, you know what? You're right. Immediately, immediately, immediately. they be trying to cancel that motherfucker. There's a thing called man spreading. There's a thing called woman splaining. If you don't, oh, not so, not woman splaining. I don't want to get canceled. Man splaining. I can say that. Oh yeah. Me saying man splaining ain't gonna get me canceled. Uh, motherfucking man splaining. I would, I would, you know what I'm saying? But I would guess that women's planning would be them saying some shit that don't make no sense. You know, but <laughs> we ain't gonna go there, you know, but that's what I would expect it would be. The easiest is that way to do it. Is that well, what you're well, what I'm saying is that the way you've been responding to me has been patronizing and condescending, and I have responded to that. So the easiest I'm way to deal with this is not, imagine, is not imagine, to, imagine, is Senator, not to, to have that I way in responding splaining. to the questions imagine I've asked. Imagine the reaction, Senator, if I said you were woman splaining. You're saying that I'm mansplaining. Well, it is a term that's used is it when. By whom? Well, by it rude, is a term that's used. By rude, 
she couldn't even answer that. Like, <laughs> she couldn't. She couldn't answer it without throwing her hand away. Yeah. Like, come on, <laughs> let's mansplaining, being answering your questions in rude, condescending ways. Motherfucker, that's called sarcasm. Yeah. That's that. You can't put a sex on sarcasm. No, you can't. <sighs> Unless you're a woman and you want to put it on men. Yeah. You know, women, you know, big on victim roles, though, too, so there's that. I assume that you were seeking to make gender an issue. No, I'm not. Do you want to reconsider what you said, sir? No, I don't. You don't want it? No. You don't want it? No, I'm wasting I mean, I just find it extraordinary, Senator. I just find it extraordinary that uh, you or any Senator at this, at this table would seek to invoke gender in impugning... Uh, how a senator is responding. Well, I'm surprised you haven't. Let the record you don't show. Let the record show here that Senator Gallagher thinks it's appropriate to uh, refer to uh, a senator as man explaining. Take a good look at yourself. Mm. I mean, sitting here and saying well, to a, I don't a male senator, you, you're man explaining. If I said to a female senator, yes. you are woman explaining, uh, there would be uproar. Stop being a hypocrite. Well, Conduct yourself it. appropriately for this well, place. I'm sorry you're so offended by the use of the word. It is, it is a word that's used. Uh, it's Preach. It's a, I'm surprised that you're so shocked by the use of the word. No, I'm just, um, I'm just calling hypocrisy. Hypocrisy, well, thy name yeah. is Labor. Thy name is Senator Gallagher. Um, I think you need to settle down, actually. Senator, welcome, to, welcome to federal parliament. Oh, right. Minister, well, Minister, well, Minister, Minister we're, Order. We're the big people. Minister right. Order. <laughs> Man. <laughs> he didn't cut her no slack. Man. I like how he did that. Man, and, and he, he was, was so like cool that. Shit. He was, he was. It's not and it. he was right. Man, like, he gave her a chance to apologize. But you that. know what? what even when she knows she wrong, mm-hmm. it's too late now. It's, it's too, too late, late now. She gotta, I got to keep going with she it. She got to die on that hill. Pride, pride is a major thing. You know what I'm saying? But she could just easily say, you know what? I, I resent my statement. I apologize. You know, uh, it was out of line. Yep. You know, um, I should have used a different wording and just let you know that I felt offended by what you were saying to me. Exactly. Could have anything, anything, but you know, you feel righteous in you know something that you know it's yep. not. Yep. Because as soon as you, it's just like as soon as you call somebody sexist, the it, it's basically offer them to to prove why you're a sexist, and you got to prove that you're not a sexist, but. And if you don't, that means that you're just confirming that you're sexist. But he basically was like, you know what? I don't care. Tell me, tell me that word. Tell me how that's okay. Tell me how that's appropriate. Mm-hmm. And he kept he kept it on. He kept his foot on her neck. I like this shit. Right on her neck. Man, she like this. She shit. started stuttering like she mm-hmm. fucked up. Man, you know, yeah. come on, man. stop that. that Mans- mansplaining is not a thing, just like the friend zone is not a thing. Neither one is a thing. If you feel like you're, in, matter of fact, if you feel like you're in the friend zone, it's because you put yourself in a place of friendship thinking that you're going to have a chance to be with them. And that's toxic. You know, I didn't think about it like that, but okay, man, yeah, you were. Right. <laughs> I was about to cut you off, and, you know, but now I'm glad I, you know, didn't say that until I finished, you know. Uh, like, okay. You 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 know you know dudes like that, mm-hmm. like a, a woman make it clear as day that she ain't gonna be with him, and he still stick around. Still stick around, that well, is true. Be hopeful to the motherfucker. Hopeful and determined. Man, man, that's, that's not that's not a bad quality. Might have a piece of pussy, man. Uh, <laughs> I be you know sometimes I, I would hope that I would get friends on because you know I ain't trying to take it that far, and mm, it happens. It'd be like. Mm, as soon as you don't want them, that's when they want you. Yeah. But I, I still understand. I still understand, man. I'm an asshole, and I don't be giving a fuck. But women just always, and I never understood why. It's that uh, I can change them and make them better. Mm-mm, I ain't shit. I ain't never going to be shit. I'm a good father, but I ain't shit. Hey, you got to yeah. take care of them responsibilities. Oh, yeah. I ain't shit. You know, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Yeah, I, but next time if a woman ever tell you that you mansplain her, make sure you ask her to explain what that is. Oh uh, well, Brittany been watching the podcast, so she might she might see it like say, start saying that shit. 
mansplaining. Mm-hmm. Make sure you tell her you just being your asshole self, and you do that with everybody. I do that work. I do it at work. It's nothing but men that work there too. Man, nothing but men, and they call me an asshole. I can't stand people that ain't got common sense, and it, not 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 exactly. I can't stand people that ain't got common sense. It's like. I guess because of the amount of common sense I have, I unintentionally get people that I, I, I make an expectation for people. You know what I'm saying? Like I have common sense, and this is what it is. It's so simple, and you don't get that. And I've made an expectation for you. I see that that I'm in the wrong when I do that, but at the same time, I'm still impatient when it comes to explaining shit. You know what? I've realized something, and I want you to just hear me out. Common sense is not really a thing. Because people grow up differently. It's not a thing. Because you gotta think about it. If common sense was a thing, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be a thing called street smarts or book smarts. Because if you was, if you had common sense, you know how to handle yourself in all realms of where you're at. <clears throat> well, I'm be real with you. I guess because I had no sleep. And the alcohol kind of hit me. You lost me a little bit. Uh, but I see what you're trying to say. But you lost me a little bit. But I see what you're trying to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's sexist. It's, it's really sexist. It's really sexist. When, when, when will, you know, if, if a woman says something, or you know, saying whatever, it's okay. But if a man says, say a man says the same thing in a different term, like, like, like in terms of a woman, bro, like everyone hates him. Everyone hates them. It don't matter what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That man explaining shit. Uh, let me tell you. Well, reason why is because you know, like, if a woman like 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 if a woman got them like uh, uh, has a man or whatever, and you know what I'm saying, he trying, he ain't doing nothing, but she she she's on him with like like a, a man with like a lot of money, whatever. Mm-hmm. Women will be like, get that. Like, get that bag, get, get that, that bag. bag, shit like that. If a dude do it, oh, he's a dog, he need to drop him. Oh, shit like that. Yeah, I hate that shit. Even um, when it comes with, like, biracial relationships. Yeah. I've noticed a lot of biasness in, in um, biracial relationships. Mm-hmm. Well, interracial. Man. Interracial relationships. The same words would be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 he date white women. Uh, boo, boo, boo. All this fucking shit. shit. He ain't shit. But at the same time, she'll see one of her homegirls dating some white man. Be like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, do you? Oh, Get you a cow. Shit like that. Niggas ain't like, shit. It be like, man. I hate that shit. And then my biggest my biggest gripe of hypocrisy is when when people in public see a woman abusing a man and being physical, whether it's physical or emotional, like saying a whole lot of stuff and being disrespectful and violent, they let they give them a pass. Matter of fact, they be laughing and shit. They be laughing. And as soon as the man hit her back. They want to jump up. Like, it's too fucking late now. I, whew, I swear to God. You no, know, it's a thing. Like, if you if you, if you see an altercation between a man and a woman and say the woman's crying, the man could have done nothing. He could have just been like, Gee, how could you do this? You, this one. And she'd be crying and shit. You know, people people will go out there and tell him he needs to calm down. He needs to do this, that, and third. And they even know the situation because don't even know. Crying. Don't even you see know. a man crying like He's just a bitch You know what I'm saying Like man, ha, 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 ha. Man, she, put, she putting him in his place Or shit like that It's like Man, man. Like, Come on Like you just, Y'all just watch this woman And put hands on this man Slap him 47 fucking times And the moment he grab her wrist That's when y'all wanna fucking move I hate that fucking shit If y'all ever fucking do this shit And I'm around I'm smacking him Calm down I think you might need a shot man I'm Calm sorry man. Pastor like, Cavassier don't do that no more on camera, bro. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> Don't do that no more on camera. But everybody sing it now. Shit ain't right. Shit ain't right. It ain't. You know, it's very gonna be talking equality and whatnot. Man, equality is bullshit. It definitely is. Because it because people use it to their advantage. Like when I whew. When women talk equality, well, well, I take that back. When a lot of women talk equality, what they mean is equal pay. Mm-hmm. They want to get um, 
they want to get treated better than men. Is how I feel about it. They want to. They want money and they want to get treated better than men because they don't want men to treat them equally. They don't want them to treat them as other men. They want them to treat them better. When it comes to workplaces, it be like certain jobs. Men do whatever, and they have to, man, they struggle because shit is so hard to do. And like a woman feels like, even if she's in a different position, she, she should get paid as much as him. Or if, if she does get that same job position as him, like he's heavy lifting or some shit like that, she shouldn't have to do it because she's a woman. But she still should get that position. Let me tell you, at my job, my let me tell you how sex, how sex is my job isn't. My job is not one woman working out there, not one. Women can work out there. There's there's nothing. There's not one thing that says that women can not work out there. Bro. There's not, yeah. But there's not one thing out there that says women can't work out there. Everybody get along too. Nah. Really? Because it's like, uh, I don't know, men get along way better than women. Well, it's, it's like, we, we're all respectful, mm. but you know how it is. You, you know, know how workplace with just women, bro. It's chaos. Chaos. Uh, well, you know, with a workplace for all oh, men, you know, you would think it'd be a little bit, it, it's a little bit differently. Chill. It is more chill, but I'm saying like, but everybody still talks shit about each other. I mean, yeah. So it's like, it's, like, you know, yeah. it, it's, it's, it's there's still a lot of messy dudes out there. It, it just don't stop. But the, the messiness is a little different. The messiness only is work related most times or oh. politics. Politics and work related. I don't talk politics and work. You're not supposed to, but they still do it. I but, that shit. but, Back to we getting off subject. There's not one thing out there that says women can't work out there. The problem is the job be so physical that most women get out there and they can't do it, so they quit. And it's because they expect that uh, there are certain things that they're not going to do because there are women. But now, once they got there, like, no, you got to do this. You, it's, it's for everybody. Everybody got to do this. So you got to do it. And they realize, nah, I can't do this. Mm-hmm. Or it's too dirty sometimes. And they be like, nah, I can't do this. I don't want to get that dirty. Too dirty? Yeah, you're going to get dirty. You go to work to get dirty. Man, what the fuck? Yeah, they going to get dirty. So it's, it's zero women out there in my job. My job pays hella fucking good money. They just don't want to do the fucking job. It's a lot of dudes that come out there. Matter of fact, it was this dude. He was... Motherfucker was built like he could have played football. And mm. he, he was built. That motherfucker was huge. But he couldn't do the job. It was too physical for him. Because it, it was the type of physical that he not used to. Like, motherfucker thinking because they work out at the gym or some shit that they can do that job. They can't. It's, it's a different type of physicality. And the only way I say the only way you can actually do the job if you actually want that job. Motherfucker be like, nah, fuck that. I don't want this job. I can't do this. Fuck that. And that's why I, I ain't got the, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got the, uh, I got too many responsibilities to be like, I can't do my job. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, and then it's like, but then like women come out there, but women will come thinking that they're not supposed to do certain shit. Nah, fuck that. Nah, if you want this equal pay, you got to do this job. Yeah. Now I understand there are some jobs out there, like the nurses, like the nursing field. Mm-hmm. They get treated like shit. I know for a fact. Let me tell you, most fucking some shit up on the news about the nurses, like not goddamn getting up. Uh, they didn't get shit for this stimulus bill. They all they got was a fuck you for real, for real. They could have gave them hazard pay. They could have gave them more bonuses. You know what they got for the bonuses? They got fifty dollar dick gift card, basically. What? Fifty dollar gift card. That's slapping the fuck face. You know what I got for my bonus? They gave us, they give us between five and ten percent of our yearly salary. Shit, they gave Brittany goddamn. Uh, uh, they gave her a thirty dollar gift card and getting some summer sausage, uh, a block of cheese, uh, man, some noodles for whatever, some fettuccine uh, noodles for whatever the fuck reason. And it still sounds like it's about the same as a nurse. Yeah, and she not even nowhere near shit like that. Man, it's just. <laughs> they get so disrespected that I would understand if they wanted to go on strike and uh, and do all that other bull. You know what I'm saying? That was out there. That was in these motherfuckers' yeah. faces. Yeah, like they was, bro. They put their life on the line. Even though you know I was working during the pandemic and shit, I wasn't like the nurses and shit. Like like literally, yeah, looking I, for the corona. Yeah, I don't deal with people at my job, so we don't we don't work in public, so we ain't gotta be. Matter of fact, my job so spaced out. I only work with like one or two people. 
Oh, I was dealing with people, but it wasn't like not like no nurse. Yeah, I wanted to shit like nurse that man during the pandemic. It was motherfuckers. Like, it was like just falling asleep like right there. Yes, we did have some fun. I ain't gonna lie, man. man. You know, yeah, we, we had some pretty good lives. Yeah, they weren't great. Well, yeah, they weren't great, but you know, that's pretty, pretty, yeah, pretty good time. Good times. Shit that never mentioned to anyone else. <laughs> with, you know what? You know why we're good friends? I know why. We have we have an unspoken bond. Yes, we do. Yeah. Keep your fucking mouth shut. This is why. <laughs> 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 oh man, we're gonna keep it that way. Yes, yes. We have a mutual, a mutual understanding. But I don't know how we got out to this. Look, but they okay. Who's so talking about cheese? Yeah, this topic. See, the reason why I asked is because this girl was on vacation, right? Mm-hmm. And she apparently. While her dude, both her, her dude was in town, like I guess her and her dude were both on vacation or something together, some shit together. Yeah, and um, and she ran, she went out with this other dude to, to chill and fuck. Wait, Go ahead, was, um, my wait, 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 wait. What happened? Call that real quick. Say that one more time. Yeah, like she went out with this dude and she chilled with him and fucked him. She was on vacation with her dude. I think. I'm not sure. Let, let's watch the video. How long is it? It ain't that long. We're going to... Now I just want to know. <laughs> okay. Is it in the closet? <laughs> no. He had found out because I, I don't... Like, I'm stupid when it comes to cheating. Like, I don't, I'm not a good cheater. How can you so joke anyways, about that? Um, it was a nigga that... It was somebody I've been texting. Like, I was talking to this nigga for a long ass time, but we just never linked. So I was in Miami. I was like, picking up from the airport. So he was like, okay, I got he you. He lived in Miami. He lived in Miami. Okay. So. But it, you were still talking to him while you were in DC. Yeah, I've been talking to him even before I went to college. But we were like on and off. Gotcha. So I never linked with him. So never I was fucked. never fucked until we got to until I got to Miami. So he picked me up at the airport. He picked me up in a nice uh, Benz at AMG. Like, I fucked it up. <laughs> you like college boy. As <laughs> <laughs> soon as he saw him pull up in that car, she knew she was fucking. She knew. You know how it is. Hmm. Kind of yeah, so we up in a nice Angie Benz with the Whoop, and then we went and got some food. The food was good as fuck, like good food. <laughs> and then, like a day or two later, um, we went. Have you seen? Uh, you know who Salt Bay is? Like Salt Bay, the guy that has the restaurants and he like sprinkles the the okay, salt. I don't, on. Who, who, who that person is, but okay. You don't. You know the meme know where the it was like yeah. a guy putting salt on like a piece of steak. And he had, like, glasses on in the meme. Well, anyways, his restaurant is, like, in USR. Like, it's an expensive-ass restaurant. So he took me there. Okay. The bill was, like, seven dollars $800. It was a good time. Damn. $800? That's the norm. I, I like, I love the fine norm? dining. Like, I love fine dining. So that's... All I know is... You knew he... She knew he was fucking the moment he pulled up... The moment he paid that seven hundred dollar bill, like, come on, she she know. Uh, which, matter of fact, what's the most you've ever paid for a dinner? What's the most? I don't know. Uh, talking about just for two people? Yeah, just for you and mm. your person you date. Mm. Oh, what? Well, less than fifty. Okay, it's about forty. You know, I splurge. I splurge. I splurge. I splurge. <laughs> I give me like, okay. a little goddamn meal with the appetizer and the goddamn side dishes. You know, Applebee's. You know, the man. most I've ever paid was yeah. There's a lot of contest behind it. When I when I say this was two hundred and fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. That was the most I've ever spent. And then you got me fucked up. <laughs> We just eating, bro. This is one meal, bro. No, Ooh, no, not doing that. But we was in Vegas. 
Oh, we were celebrating. Never mind. I ain't even gonna have to check Vegas. You go there and spend money regardless. Of what it is. Exactly. You go there with the understanding that you brought money anyway. So yeah, yeah. I brought money. Matter of fact, and I had more money too while I was gambling, so I won it, and I was like, "Fuck it, I got it." I've been invited to Vegas so many times. Yeah, I'm I, by you. Exactly. I mean, Every I'm time going. I go, I try to invite you. No, I appreciate it. But look, all, I, all I'm saying is, look, if you don't want to fly, we can make a road trip out of it. Man, I don't want to go out there with money. Look, you don't have to gamble. That's what I'm saying. There's so much more than just gambling. B, I know you there. Brittany. I near I heard somebody. I heard I thought somebody shut the shut something down there. Right, fuck. Um, but you can go to Vegas and not have to spend any money gambling. But you gotta have money to enjoy yourself. Mm-hmm. Unless you just wanna walk the strip. I'm broke man. I don't, know, I don't know. I don't even know how to spell money, bro. I tell you though. I tell you, if you want to go to a beach and not spend, if, if if you want to go to like like a beach trip, don't go to Miami. I wasn't planning on it. I've been offered to go to Miami too. You no, know? because yeah. uh, I've been a couple times and and I you can like go large alone. bodies of water, huh? I don't like large bodies of water. <laughs> Wait, what? Is this a thing? Oh, okay, 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 okay. There's Let's put shit in there, bro. Parasites and shit, man. We done got off track. Like, motherfucker, let me finish this. I can surf, though. But I don't like a lot of parts. Norm. That's norm. Yeah, for two people, in order to find that, that's not, that's the norm. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. You're going to be speaking Arabic. <laughs> no, yeah. We right. went there. Then after we went to this bomb hookah spot, the vibe was amazing. So the college boy was in Miami too. So he studied blowing my phone up, studied blowing my phone up. So I knew in the back of my head, I was like, the date is cool, but I know I'm not about to fuck him. Like I'm not. But got drunk at the uh, the restaurant and then got drunk at the hookah spot and then <laughs> we had went back to his house and I was on my period. I was coming off my period. I was like I'm not about to fuck you. I'm on my period. So, get back to his house. At this point, I'm very much drunk. Like, I'm thinking I'm just about to go to his house. They're about to drink some more, and we're about to chill. So, I ended up taking a shower, and then, yeah, like I said, I was drunk. I got <laughs> finesse. The college boy was, I didn't get finesse because I knew what I was doing. Yeah. But I told the boy, I was like, I'm- Okay. You know this wow. how? No, no, she, she gave all of these excuses, and then she just point blank said in the end, she knew what the fuck she was doing. Which means to go to show you. She tried to blame it on being drunk, and she and she realized while she was talking that it sounded bad. Then she tried to blame it on being on her period. She that's why she's just like on the period spot and whatever. She took the shower because most time they most time when women, women take showers when they're on the period, it helps stop the bleeding and mm-hmm. stuff. Especially once around the time of stopping anyways. Yeah, so so she she knew like and plus why the fuck is you taking a shower at this dude crib anyway like come on like if y'all was just going on a date you would have said seems so like 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 she's okay with this shit like what I want to know is how long she been with old dude oh no the fences I was trying to fuck but I ended up fucking him and the college boy was calling me so at first I put my phone do not disturb and then he he kept calling me so I just like oh, uh, like, I. Uh, she was referring to her boyfriend as a college boy? Yes. But this, I don't know if they two are together or not, but she might just be talking about... So fucking... Just go ahead and finish. <laughs> I feel bad for this nigga. What I do, I turned off my phone. So I, I, in the morning, I acted like my phone had died or something like that. Did, 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 um... She had a man and had another man pick her up. And did. <laughs> Wait, what? She had a man. Did, uh... She had a man, then had another man pick her up. He bitch is ruthless out here. I know. Like, that was back in my toxic days. I'm not toxic. Yeah, this is, this is pre. Yeah, this is. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can say. Yeah. Niggas will okay. watch this All and right, take so, that as a warning song. Now, did, he, did your college boy have your location? 
Yeah, he always had my location. That's why I turned off my this phone. Was trying to help. Okay, because you didn't want the nigga to pull up. Yeah, I didn't want him to pull up. And he had a rental car, too. Like, I didn't want him to pull up or anything like that. So that's why I turned off my phone, because he definitely would have pulled up. Like, he pulled up the last time. Yeah. Okay, so now, you wake up. <laughs> it was um, Miami Spring Tower. And- you leave it, you go see a college boy. How is he reacting? How is he taking this uh, thing? A whole argument. It was crazy. We was arguing on South Beach. It was bad. But, you know, we lived together, so... Did he start accusing you of cheating immediately, or...? And I was denying it the whole time. I kept so denying it. So he felt like you, you cheated? Yeah, and he was like, I know you did something. I know you did it. And I just kept denying it. Like, I didn't... Were you uh, crying? No. Fake crying? No, I can't fake cry. You can't fake cry? I laugh. Like That's <laughs> I laugh, like, okay. so bad. So were you laughing and saying, I didn't do anything? No, I tried to be as serious as I could. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> did you think he bought He bought it? No, he knew I did something, oh, okay. but I never, like, admitted this to it or whatever. Dope. This is so funny to her. That nigga could have killed her from shit like that. Motherfuckers get killed every day over cheating. Yeah. Like, just because... You know the right thing to do is to leave. Don't mean it's gonna be what they do. Like fortunately, he just knew that she wasn't worth it. So he left. left. Yeah, I think he left. Cause you know, not 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 need the whole scoop. You know what I'm saying? Like that's like how? Okay, she looked this man in his eyes and said, "No, I didn't cheat." While laughing. No, she said she had to see his face. She said she'll laugh and she tried to cry, Mm. but. No, she thought. No, she said she couldn't. She couldn't fake cry, and she's trying to keep herself from laughing. Mm, like, don't you know how disrespectful that is? Man, let me find. Man, Brittany got down. No, nah, I probably leave. Nah, it, it's just I don't know. I can't. You know, I make threats about what I do for motherfucking shit off me, but at the end of the day, I can't do five minutes in jail, so I'm just gonna leave. I wouldn't know. Unless I'm, because that's like one of them situations you just got to be in. Yeah. Like, it's like, you you, you, you can say how cool you may react or whatever, but you righteous don't know unless you're like in the heat of the moment of the situation. This bitch wants shit, though. Oh, that bitch wants shit. She cute, though, but she. No, she ugly. Yeah. Well, from what she she did. Yeah. So fucking. Yeah. She was physically attractive until she started talking about what she did. And that goes to show motherfuckers, it don't matter what people say, your past is who you are. Like your past is what made you who you are today, and the fact that she looked back on her past and was able to laugh about the shit, Laughing what she did, it. it's fucked up. I, st- I need, you know, what I'm saying, I need you, to get, you know, to be like, 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 you know, what I'm saying who, you know, dude, what, did he tear her back? I'm pretty sure he didn't. You know, what I'm saying what the fuck ever, but like, was he a good dude? You know, because you know, usually good dudes get cheated on. Good dudes do get cheated on, and that be like the crazy shit. And you know, if you if you really break down the science of it, well, it really ain't no science to it. If you cheat, you just cheat. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of times when people try to justify their cheating, it's always because they feel like something is missing. Yeah, yeah that's true. And the point being, if you feel like something is missing in that relationship, leave that relationship. Just leave the relationship. You ain't gotta cheat. Yeah. Like that. Don't you know? Matter of fact. If honestly, it's so many people who are willing to be in open relationships that all you have to do is say, hey, I want to be in an open relationship with you. I don't because I can't see myself just being with one person, but I want to try to be with you. And if I can, like, we can have an open relationship. Like, you date who you want, I do who I want. Like, the concept, like, you have to start that in the beginning. You don't yeah. pull that bullshit in the middle. Yeah, you can't do that shit. Yeah, don't, don't, don't be in a committed relationship and then be like, hey, I want to try an open relationship. No, you got to start from the, from the beginning. But if you're not poly, or poly, what is po- I know what you're trying to say. Yeah. Poly- Polygamy. Po- you know what the fuck I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, no, no, it's not. Po- it is. It's, um, Basically, poly, basically. Poly, I call it poly. Yeah. But if you're not that, then you're, you're not going to like it. But if you are, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, or it's just so it's so many things nowadays. That all you got to do is communicate and tell them what you want. And if you tell that person what you want and they don't want that, mm. then you don't have to be with that person. 
You know, playing with someone's emotions is the most dangerous thing you can do. Whew. You never know their mindset. Ain't it? Like, you like, you know, because of what you think personal. You know, I need this, I need that. And instead of communicating with this person or feeling like, you know what, I'm not getting that, let me go. You put them in a situation, a scenario that they can't handle. And boom. Ain't boom. It. That's it. They might snap. Might snap. Oh, my goodness. Like, all you got to do is just bleep. You know, leave. It's not working, and you don't you don't want to do it. No, just, just go. You know, like not. You know, I wanna I wanna stay in this, but I wanna go ahead and give me some massage. Just in case this might be what I want. No, don't do that. Just talk to him. No, can't do this no more. Whatever. You know, I need to find myself. What the fuck you got to say? Go, and then mm. you know, do that. Don't and, keep somebody in a relationship selfishly while you doing your own thing. And and don't be that person who. If a person tells you they don't want to be with you anymore, don't be that person who tried to stop them from leaving. Let them go. Because yeah. it's only going to get worse. They already told you they don't want to be there no more. And the fact is, from where you are at in your relationship, then you took, and you, they said they don't want to be with you, and you still want to be with them despite everything where you are in that relationship... It's only going to get worse. Yeah. They're only going to treat you more shittier. They're only going to start blankly doing things to make you want to leave them. Or you might become abusive and might try to physically stop them from leaving. Don't be that person. Let them leave. If they if they, if they they make put their foot down, not like, not like uh, you know, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. If they blank say, no, I'm not doing this no more. I can do this more. I, 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 no, never again. Not doing this no more. If they taste like this and you try to keep them around. It's already over. It's just how it's going to be over at that point. Exactly. Like, just be peaceful about it. Be respectful. Be like, okay, if you want to leave, <clears throat> that's the door. <laughs> if you don't want to leave, let's figure out what we can work on. If you look at something as if I put too much time in this, maybe you, you already put- you already kind of gave up yourself. Right? Like, all you thinking about, yo, I put too much time in this shit. There ain't no way you leaving. It's not. It's not even about like you know how you feel about a person at that point in time. Man, it's about the time you think you put in. Yeah, like, like I wasted all this time. You're not going nowhere. No. Instead of looking at it as time invested, you need to start looking at it as time wasted. Yeah. Do you want to continue to waste your time being this relationship in this relationship? Yeah. Yeah. Whew, damn, I'm fucked up, man. So, Are you? Yeah. Cause I can't drive you home, Playboy. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to stay tonight here. Well, I ain't seen cock. I'm gonna get my Peter Walker uh, uh, <laughs> throw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If you ain't got to drive, mm-hmm. though, man, you can chill upstairs a little bit. Nah, I'm, I'm straight. I'm, you sure? Yeah, I'm good. Can nah, I mean, like, when I say I'm fucked up, I mean, like, oh, that shit feel good. I feel oh. good. Oh. Oh, if I'm. There was only one time I was ever too fucked up. And let me tell you, that was that time, I think it's my 26th birthday. I handed the keys to my uh, sister, and then we don't speak no more. It's a different sister. But handing the keys to her. I don't and know, I a said, couple times you were like faded. Let I know. No, nah, I'm talking about to the point where I, I didn't even know how the fuck I got home. Oh. Oh. I didn't even know we went to the fucking club. I had a lot. I had a lot of those times. Like, I handed her the key. Matter of fact, it was my birthday, and I knew I needed a designated driver because I was like, I at least want to get that fucked up one time. And I said, I gave her the key. I told her, like, you can drive the car you want to. Like, <laughs> just make sure. Huh? Because it was a time like that at 17. No, not that time. Oh. No, 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 no. I just didn't. Man, you were fucked up. I, no. Now I knew I think about it, you were really fucked up, and I was too. But I wasn't as fucked nah, up. No, nah, I wasn't fucked up the way I couldn't remember. I was fucked up to the you couldn't drive. And that drink made me sick. And I told you, you were sick. fucking sick, nigga. You were drunk, was. nigga. You was the right that turn. That shit for made it. me sick. You were. It was, that you were shit drunk. made me right sick. Turn. And I told you, I said I couldn't drink this because it was you making were, me sick. Because you were drunk. No, and if motherfucker. We, no, you were drunk. Matter of fact, <laughs> and, and even though, even if I was, let's say I was drunk. Oh my god. That, was I not responsible enough to make sure I had a way home? I wasn't gonna let you leave, no way. No, I wasn't gonna no. drive. Come on, I wasn't gonna drive. I'm never too fucked up to where I'm just driving. I wasn't just fucked up. Even when I'm just driving. Even anywhere, I wasn't gonna let you leave, and I wasn't gonna leave your side. Yeah, you my nigga, man. I like you. Yeah, yeah. But 
but nah, this one time though, I knew, like I had planned it out. I said, I'm gonna get fucked up. I don't know why you need that drunk. And because I never, I've seen it, but I never experienced it's it. Not fun. And it was my birthday, so I'm turning the fuck up. It's not fun. Let me tell you, we had we had this big ass bottle of Hennessy, cost about a hundred dollars. It was a big ass you fucking know, during bottle. During the pandemic, Hennessy sold out, and you couldn't find it. When they gave out the stimulus checks. <laughs> no, it was after that. Oh, damn! They couldn't keep it on the shelves. Fucking Hennessy. Well, I don't drink Hennessy no way, so it didn't bother me. But they couldn't keep it on the shelves. Hey, motherfuckers. It was a lot of people balling during the pandemic with them scams, you know, pandemic scams. Man. You know, it was so many people getting getting scammed. That's well, scams. doing that pandemic scam and shit. I'm still a little irritated. We ain't getting we ain't get no money. We ain't get no checks. No. Hey, that's what it feel like. So, damn. I feel like we ain't gonna get them checks at all. <sighs> Let me tell you, that's a whole nother subject. Matter of fact, we'll talk about that anyways before we go. <laughs> I mean, like when we said 600, like I said, I ain't hurt. So, goddamn, it feel like a slap in the face, but hey, bro, I ain't hurt. I can do something with that 600. And then, goddamn, Trump punk ass, like, oh, I'm not signing the bill, let y'all get 2,000. And he knew what the fuck he was doing. He knew. He knew. 2,000, nigga. Bro, they had a hard time giving up the $600, man. I felt like that $600, here, take this punk ass. I'm money. saying, like, I ain't trying to get 2000 Like, man, get this man, man. Please, please get him the fuck out of here. Immediately. Please get him out of here. God damn. I had already made plans for that 600 I did not make no plans. Let me tell you. <laughs> F, only time I ever make plans for money if I see it in my bank account. That's the only time I ever make plans for money. When they said, like, they're like, like it's going to finalize and say, like, cool, bet. I mean, I'm just going to use that on my car. I'm just going to fucking, you know, bank this on my car. That was it. Yeah. That's, that's, I can save money by that. I wasn't going to do nothing like, you know. I was going to put that towards, like, my Disney World trip or some shit. Like, you you dead ass serious about this shit, huh? Disney World? Yeah. Yeah. Boy, when, when I saw your little. Go find me? Go find me, man. I want to punch in your fucking face. Why? Because you ain't, you ain't broke. First off, it's, and it, you ain't hurting. It ain't about being broke. To make a GoFundMe. It's about a Disney World. It's about Disney World is a lot of fucking money. I didn't say it wasn't, but you it got just, it. I ain't no, I don't oh, got yeah. Disney World type money. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. You know, it costs like five thousand dollars just to go and have a fucking like a really good just to do everything we want to do and have a good time. Like I do, I ain't got five thousand dollars just to waste like that. Mm. Well, nigga, nigga, anytime I come into a, anytime I get What's your savings. Don't worry about what I got in my savings. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Look, anytime I got decent amount of money, mm. what I try to do is I try to pay ahead of my bills. I guess because it's like I don't want to ever. If you ever been, if y'all ever been broke to the point where you can, it's like. You live in you live in paycheck to paycheck, mm-hmm. and you don't know what next week is gonna bring. Mm-hmm. You don't ever want to go through them problems again. So anytime I come into money, I pay all my bills up ahead. Understand? So it's just like I keep master on my kids. Like um, you know, when we drive past off of, um over the over, over the train tracks over there by uh, governors or whatnot. Yeah. Um, I'm I show a point like you see them people out there. That's my biggest fear. I make sure, like, yeah, you, you ain't scared of no. I ain't never heard you you're scared of anything. Like, yes, um, um, my biggest fear is being homeless. Uh, yeah, so I work, I work, and I do anything I can to motherfucking stay out of a situation like that. Yeah, that's just scary as fuck, bro. That's just so fucking scary, cause you know, cause I don't know all these people's stories, but sometimes if you talk to some people. Just communicate Just for, like Okay Hey man How did you get up In this situation Motherfuckers used to be Doctors and lawyers yeah, yeah. Be well off Like a business manager yeah. Or something And then say like I know this one dude He was a uh, He was a rich doctor He was a doctor He was a, a surgeon His uh, His wife got cancer And her mm. treatment Cost so much money Because Because then Something happened With the insurance And then Something like pre-existing condition. It was like right before Obamacare. Like you know, Obama, Obamacare or the CARES Act is the reason why pre-existing pre-existing conditions don't matter anymore. Because before then, if you have any pre-existing conditions, they could deny you insurance. Okay, his wife had cancer. They couldn't get insurance to fix it, and the treatment cost so much money. 
He went broke and they he put his house he mortgaged his house trying to uh, pay for a treatment. So he lost the house doing the treatment. And then when she got sick in the hospital, he had to take care of the kids who so ended up losing his job because of the treatment. And then then they so he lost the house, lost the job, and then she ended up dying. Damn. Then he couldn't afford to take care, he couldn't get his job back. The kids. He locked the kids got taken in by uh, somebody else because he couldn't he couldn't get he couldn't he couldn't find work. I think he said around the time the recession hit too, so he couldn't find work. He couldn't uh he could, he said he even tried to go to McDonald's and they told him he was overqualified. Yeah, I'm still understanding that shit. What the fuck like, are you overqualified like that? Shit pissed him off. He said, man, he told him he said it don't matter and they still wouldn't give him a job it's like I never really understood that whole look thing being overqualified yeah, that's, like, that's 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 bullshit because they know that they have to pay No, you do know jobs have to pay you about where your level of degree is right not really like it okay say say this say uh, say you got uh, a master's degree mm-hmm. and you go to the job that just hired you mm-hmm. They have to pay you a couple of dollars more than that what they have to pay somebody else. Oh, well. but the problem is a lot of people don't know that, so they just get taken advantage of. And they knew that guy was smart enough to know. But I mean, he sounded more desperate than than anything. Yeah, he was desperate, like, and and they would and they and they could have paid him. Uh, and, but you know, recession hit. It was so hard. apparently it was so hard to get a job during the recession. Like they, are, I don't even. Maybe when gas got to about five dollars a gallon. Yeah, man, bro. And we was just riding. That's when I got my first car. Yeah, first car. bro. I can bro. Gas is too expensive. It was. It was expensive, man. But so, but yeah, it I was. Remember. I remember I'm, I remember It was like During the time Some girl like was, uh, uh, One of drunk nights Out there in Cherokee Then Some girl she was like You know what I'm saying Taking crystals or whatever Get some food And I was like Mmm Never got a gas She's like Man You know She's like I suck your dick And I was like Shit Head ain't gonna get this car no more <laughs> And everybody Hey Everybody stop that shit. Hey Stop saying Hey My car don't <laughs> run out here <laughs> Oh, it was that. Man. It was that tough. That was my shit. It I used to love tough. saying that. It was that tough. At that Turned point, down head for a ride. Fuck that, that, that man. Shit, Bro. gas was a was a necessity. It was hard to get. Yeah, it was. It was expensive. But yeah, like you know, he couldn't he couldn't get a job, so he had to give up the kids. And he ended up living on the streets for a very long time. He's still on the streets. I think I'm not sure. Cause I ain't seen him in a long time. I hate it for people on the streets right now. It's too cold. Honestly. It is cold. Like every winter time, I always think about it like, yeah. damn, man, that's fucked up. The only people I don't feel sorry for that's homeless is the motherfuckers who go like to these uh to Vegas and lose it all. Oh yeah. Or like if you go to a casino spot, you lose it all. You homeless out there. You know that you know like gambling is damn that disease for real. It is addicting. It's very addicting. I, I did it once and I lost some money and I never did it again. Yeah, I'm telling. You, if you if you don't. You don't really have an addictive trait in your body to get addicted then. But when that goes, go, if you go to Tennessee, you know what I'm saying? You know, let your boy know. Ride with you and give me some scratch offs. I got you. Okay. Scratch offs. So, yeah. yeah. You got to have, like, I think, hot take, okay. Mm. I think Floyd Mayweather has a gambling addiction. Yes. Don't you spend, like, a lot of time in Vegas? Yeah. But you remember, you know he's the first billionaire from making money out of sports. Like, actually, like, you know, like, you know, they say, you know, Matt Johnson and all them motherfuckers, they, they billionaires, but they got their money outside of sports. Mm. He's the first billionaire to make money during the sport. Like, you know, he be, he was getting like $200,000 a fight. Yeah. And he taking this fight with, uh, with that Jake... Jake Paul oh, dude taking that fight. Logan Paul Jake Paul I'm fucking, Yeah he taking that fight I feel like Floyd Mayweather Got a gambling addiction And he broke But his broke Is different from our broke yeah. His broke is he Floyd Mayweather He walks around With like how much money He keeps He's like he, suitcase of how much money They can keep He I remember one time He had He was walking around With a hundred million dollar check But I know he used to keep Like five million dollars on him Yeah just, But Play money. 
Yeah, but Damn. but I think Floyd Mayweather looked up one day and saw that he had only had a hundred million dollars left. Mm. That's that's his definition of broke. Yeah, he only had a, he only had a hundred million dollars left, and he was like, you know what I do? I go fight uh, that the UFC fighter uh, Conor McGregor, and he fought him and got a hundred million dollars off of it. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I think he got. I think it was 200 million and, and Conor McGregor got 100 million something like that but uh, now he find this dude and he like huh I was fighting him I think he realized he could just make money fighting these dudes easy <laughs> easy money I mean why, why, money. why he still can he may as well why, yeah. he got the, why he got the energy and strength to do it may as well do it now like that Mike Tyson uh, and uh, two Roy Jones, Jones. yeah yeah, you know, you know that fight generated seventy five million dollars. I did not seventy five million. I know, I know, I know. I was scared for uh, uh, motherfucking Roy Jones. Yeah, I was scared for him too. <laughs> <laughs> he been like ever stepping. Yeah, motherfucker better take his money and he just chill. Yeah, Mike Tyson dangerous. He like, been like ever fight Mike Tyson again for some for somebody who who is so hilarious when he talks. That nigga dangerous. That nigga dangerous. Like, fuck but me. as a man though, have you seen Mike Tyson no in interviews when he be talking to motherfuckers? Mm-mm. <laughs> Ooh, I'm about to, uh, go to YouTube on your shit real quick. I'm about to show you some shit. Like the way he talked to motherfuckers. I I, you gotta. Being like, I remember being like an asshole. Like if all I want to know is if Mike Tyson. Talk to you this type of way. It don't matter. It don't matter what type of way you talk to me. I'm just gonna accept it. Like I don't care. I'm not gonna fight fucking Mike Tyson. <sighs> like think. Okay, this one. This this. <laughs> it's interesting that two guys that come from uh, such brutal sports can be such calm and like soft people like y'all are very like loving and for me what it is with two guys it's not really cool to be happy it's not cool to be a positive person it's a cooler thing to be negative Dude who talking, he do the podcast with Mike Tyson, your football player. That motherfucker big, goddamn. Motherfucker huge. I think it's kind of hard to be scared of Mike Tyson when you like a fucking giant. Like, he, hey, you, you watch Game of Thrones? No. Uh, okay. You heard a dude called The Mountain, though, right? The Mountain? Sounds familiar. He bought that dude's size. I just want to talk to you and want to just pick your brain. Get the fuck away from me. 